Uh, this morning we saw a little bit of cloud cover, then around 10 o'clock things cleared up, and then we saw those strong winds out of the north keep us cool in those mid-80s. And we're going to continue to cool off all the way down into those upper 50s under these clear skies. A beautiful sunset out there, but everybody is looking at Florida right now as we continue to track Hurricane Helene making its way across the Gulf Coast. Temperature change over the last 24 hours, taking us all the way down into those lower 70s. Then we made a good 10 degree run up into those 80s, and right now we're all the way back down into those 70s. Going to drop about another 20 degrees tonight before we level out and then warm back up into that beautiful weather. 70 in San Angelo, everybody else already down there in those 70s and those 60s across the entire region. I am still always looking for 10 degrees and it's not there even though we're seeing some of those drier conditions. 68 in Sterling City, 70 down there in Junction. Everybody else pretty close together and when we look at those humidity indices and those dew points, they're way down there starting to see some of those drier conditions. Dew points pushing all the way down into the 50s. While the humidity indices have risen from earlier this afternoon, somewhere around those 50s and those 70s if you're looking near El Dorado. When we talk about the upper level pattern, we talk about Hurricane Helene and what's about to happen called the Fujiwara effect. What will happen is this strong hurricane will circle around a low pressure system. They will reach the same pressure level, then push out of the way by next week where we're going to see some of the stronger winds, that cold air and that high pressure make its way back over the Concho Valley. When we talk about the water vapor imagery, we're really watching that cold front push down. You see this giant pocket of dry air. Everybody's looking at those calm conditions and then take a good look at Florida, there is Hurricane Helene. Now, when we look at the moisture tracker, we're really concentrating on these oranges as it wraps around and starts to begin that Fujiwara effect. We're going to watch that dry air continue to hold this moisture right around the Mississippi River Valley, but it will stay out of the Concho Valley. When we go into the severe weather outlook, it's still just targeting a lot of those coastal regions, but they definitely have a few alerts, a lot of flash flooding, storm surge, and other heavy rainfall across this entire area. Right now, she's moving north at 9 miles per hour with those 85 mile per hour sustained wind so we know it's definitely slowing down ready to intensify by tomorrow afternoon if not tomorrow morning then by tomorrow afternoon definitely making landfall Haley's gonna have her hands full covering all sorts of content that has to do with all the flooding and damage that we are slated to see right now the eye of this storm is about 25 nautical miles wide the whole storm about a thousand miles wide and you can see just how much moisture is pushing its way through when we look at the satellite pushing up further north we're watching a little bit of that flash flooding and some of those tornado warnings finally expand Inspiring, but things are staying calm in the Concho Valley. Futurecast is going to show you how things will continue to stay above average, if not below average here in the Concho Valley, well into Friday. But here is Thursday at 9.30 p.m. That's about when we expect to see it make landfall. So prayers for everyone there in Florida. Then it continues to move north, continues to strengthen, dump a bunch of rain across the Mississippi River Valley, if not somewhere around Kentucky. And then that cold front holds it off and then starts to push it off towards the east by this weekend. So get ready for some dry weather here as we drop back down into those 50s but remember to still think about those people in Florida by tomorrow we're still warming up into those beautiful temperatures in those 80s get out there and take advantage of it get those good snacks because the weekend is right around the corner we're already wrapping up September while we still hold strong in those upper 80s as we start to see the beginning of October we're still going strong with those cooler temperatures but those overnight lows will continue to hold strong in those mid 50s stay tuned all more for the break you're watching KSN News at 10.